Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2013 NFL Draft Grade Special. We're taking a look at the Oakland Raiders and we're gonna look at every selection the Raiders made this past April as well as some undrafted free agents that you wanna keep an eye on. New GM Reggie McKenzie had to come into this draft and help build this organization for future success. And he was able to accomplish that with a lot of good and solid football players. You look at Menelik Watson out of Florida State, he's gonna help bolster the depth along that offensive line and eventually step into a starting position. Nick Costa at one point in time was the number one high school defensive end prospect in the country. Now he's playing tight end, so you have to think his best football is ahead of him. You also look at a guy in round six, Latavius Murray out of Central Florida, big physical running back along the lines of what they have on the roster and Rashard Jennings, so keep an eye on that. This guy should make an immediate impact. Now what I like most about the Raiders draft is that they traded back a few spots to get the guy that they really wanted in cornerback DJ Hayden. There's a lot to like about his game, and I know he shot up the draft boards in the last three weeks leading up to the draft. That's due to the fact that he checked out medically because on the field, this guy does have first round talent, ball skills, not afraid to tackle. You have to like what he brings to the table and he instantly upgrades their secondary. And you also have to like the Seal Moore selection out of UConn, your classic weak side linebacker, your run and chase type of player, was well coached in college by a great football coach, a great defensive mind in Paul Pasqualoni. Seal Moore could come in right away and push for a starting position. And in round four, the Raiders drafted Tyler Wilson out of Arkansas, big fan of his game, surprised he fell this low in the draft. And two things this does, it upgrades their quarterback position, and now they have some serious competition going between he and Terrell Pryor. Notice I didn't say Matt Flynn. I really believe this is a two-man race between Wilson and Pryor. In my opinion, those are the two best quarterbacks on that roster. Wilson gives you a lot of that quote-unquote Brett Favre-like ability that he will stand there in the face of pressure and make the tough throw. I love this pick for Oakland. Again, upgrades their quarterback position and provides some real value in the fourth round. The Raiders also found some value in the later rounds. Big fan of Michael Rivera's game out of Tennessee. He's your classic new age tight end. You can match him up in the slot on linebackers and safeties, and he's going to win that battle each and every time. Very underrated run after the catch ability, and he will catch everything thrown his way. Definitely another weapon for the quarterbacks and opens up that offense tremendously. And when you look at David Boss in round seven out of Missouri Western State, you have to love what he brings to the table. His potential as an edge rusher is key. He also has the athleticism to stand up in certain situations as an outside rusher. So if the defensive coordinator wants to get creative and show some 3-4 looks, he can use Boss as an outside rusher. The Raider fans will love everything Boss brings to the table, whether it's his hustle, his playmaking ability, and definitely his talent. Now, what I didn't like about the Raiders draft, I felt as though they should have added somewhere within one of the seven rounds a safety, a free safety in particular. I know they signed Usama Young, but I think they could use an upgrade at that position. Maybe Phillip Thomas would have been a better selection out of Fresno State, but I think they should have went free safety somewhere within this draft. The Raiders have a few undrafted free agents that have a legitimate shot to make the roster. You look at cornerback Adrian Bushel out of Louisville, was a well-coached player by Charlie Strong in that program. And when you look at his skill sets, man-to-man -man skills and plays with great technique, those are two attributes that you could win with down in, down out. And Dexter McCoyle out of Tulsa, a 6'4", 230-pound free safety, something that they sorely need, and he definitely has the ball skills and shows good range from sideline to sideline. And Sam McGuffey out of Rice, was a former running back at Michigan and also at Rice, but now has settled in as a wide receiver. I love his big play potential. Reminds me a lot of someone they already have on a roster in Jacoby Ford. And the good part about McGuffey, he's going to be out there week in, week out, ready to compete. Doesn't have those nagging injuries, so you have to like that when you're putting in a playmaker, a guy that can help you put points on the board. The Raiders got themselves a steal as an undrafted free agent in Sam McGuffey. I'm giving the Raiders a B-plus for their draft. I actually came away very impressed with new GM Reggie McKenzie's first draft. Came away with some big-time playmakers at key positions. DJ Hayden at cornerback is going to start from day one. You also look at Tyler Wilson upgrading that quarterback position. Depth alone in offensive line with Menelik Watson. And some sound, underrated players later on in the draft in Rivera and Boss. Overall, this was a huge class for the Raiders, and I think they're going to be back to where they want to be moving forward. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Raider Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support. 